g'day, g'day. Thank you for coming and thank you for clicking subscribe. We're here again today with ASMR Pond. Very excited to have her with us again. Uh, we just decided to do another little collab because all of her subscribers really love me and <laughs> all of my subscribers really love her. <laughs> so we're just going to be having a little bit of fun and hope you like it. Okay, so we're going to do a nice simple everyday makeup look today. So something that you can just do on your own. You don't need a lot of expertise or skill with makeup. Does that sound okay? Yes, I do not have a lot of expertise or skill with makeup. Oh, okay, sure. So it sounds good. Okay, I'll we'll do that today. Okay, now, how are your lips? They, they don't look too dry. Do they get dry or not really? No. No, okay. I get really dry lips, so I usually, before I start my base or doing anything else, I'll just put a little bit of um, lip balm on. Mm -hmm. So I'll just do that with you in a while. Okay. So that way, by the time you get to do your lips, if you're using something, you don't have to worry about them being too dry for the lipstick. Mm -hmm. to do it underneath because then the foundation over it will blend everything out. If you're doing it on top, you really need to make sure your concealer is a perfect color match with your foundation yeah. or it can look a bit patchy. So yeah. it's actually easier and I just find that when you're doing this. Yeah, so this one here is a color correct. Um, so it's a peach. So peach color is really good for any areas where you have like a blue color, so a bit under the eyes, where you get a little bit of those dark circles. A peach or orange color, because it's the opposite of blue in the color wheel, it balances out mm. any blues. Yeah. So that's why I'm just gonna do you, you barely have any black circles on this so I'm oh. just gonna do a tiny touch. I do, I do. I have that almost one year old, I definitely have mm. dark circles. Yeah. I've got a both sides there. Oh, I'm done. And with um, any concealers, I like to let it sit on the skin for a little bit. Okay. It works in. Okay. So before I blend it out, I'm just going to apply just little dots anywhere it's needed. And then I'll just let it sit before we blend it out. Mm. Okay, so where do you find that are your areas where you get like more coverage? Uh, here. And around the, eye, uh, the nose, not the eye, yeah. the nose. So we'll just do little dabs there. I have the same, some broken capillaries around the nose, it's very mm. common. Um, I mean, your skin is pretty clear. Um, so I'll just do a touch for some redness. Just have some minor redness here, not really any imperfections or anything. There's no acne or anything. Um, just some dots. And that will just help me to know some of my redness. Okay. So, I'm just gonna let that sit a little bit. And while I'm doing that, mm -hmm. I'm gonna just get a sponge to blend in. I got these, um, I don't have, forgive me, I don't have nice things. I just got these because I thought they looked cool and I was 
hoping that they would be useful. But you're right, orange and blue are opposites in the colour wheel. <laughs> I do not know any colours. Such yeah. a pretty year. Which colour do we need to use? Um, is it. Is, is there a difference? No, there's, there's no difference. It's more just to help you remember what you use for what. So, oh. for example, we might just use the orange for under the eyes. That's easy to remember for future, and then this one for the concealer. The yeah, that's, that's so clever. Yeah, so it's just lightening that kind of cross contaminating, yeah. I guess, your product. I actually asked that question fully expecting there to be like no reason. For <laughs> I just thought it was a stupid question, but it turns out that's very handy. Um, so we use orange. Yeah, I think we use orange. So you always want to wet any sponges that you use. Mm. You don't want to use it dry, it just helps to absorb the product and have it sit better. Thank you. Okay. So I'll just tap this for a moment and just squeeze off the excess. Yeah, you want it nice and damp for you. So it should. I mean, the sponges are really getting bigger, but a lot of the sponges will actually almost double in size. So you can see that. So now it's in distributed product. You blend it a lot more evenly. In the shape of the sponge, it's easy to get into the corners. Mm. If we use the sharper end, just blend that in there. And you need it in the inner corners, you don't need to go right across, but underneath. Actually, the less product under your eyes, the better, because we tend to crease mostly under our eyes. Mm. Especially as we get older. So Speak for yourself. <laughs> I definitely do. I don't age. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so blend it out. Just kidding. <laughs> I think we do age pretty fast. So now I'll use the yellow opposite for the other concealer. Oh, yeah. so we don't blend the two concealers together. I mean, you can, <laughs> of course. Yeah. But because I showed you that I do them separate, I'm going to do it that way. Oh. But of course you can. You can just use the same sponge, so you're not dirty in more than one. <laughs> and to clean sponges, it's quite simple. You can just use some Marcella water. Um, or some people use just like a um, dishwashing detergent and a bit of olive oil mm. in water. So you don't need a specific no, product? No, you definitely don't. Okay. I nearly bought some. No. Okay. But I find my cellar water works best for me. Do you remember when my cellar water came out? And like I'd never heard of it and it just all of a sudden it was a thing. I remember seeing an ad for it and I'm like, what is this? It's raw. Uh, well that's the thing. I, I'd actually been using it for years before the ads came out, I remember. It's like a lot of products. But many people didn't know about it, oh. so it seemed like it just came from nowhere. But it has been around for quite some time. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> I wish I was a scientist. <laughs> I wish I was smarter. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is it's very handy um, for yeah cleaning sponges, and I also love using it for if I'm doing my eyes. Um, if I'm doing a big eye look, like a smoky eye or something with a lot of pucker. Mm. I usually do my eyes before the rest of my face so I don't get a fallout. And if I need to clean up any areas, I'll just put some micellar water on a cotton tip, on a cotton pad, and then yeah, it just helps uh, to clean up and sharpen any areas. Okay. How's that feel? Pressure's okay? Yeah. Do you like that's all perfect. Now, I'll just use this in one for the foundation base. Okay. So I'm not dirtying all your beautiful new sponges. <laughs> okay. 
I was I was told to get a foundation and I got skin different tinted. Tint tinted moisturizer. Yes. Bare minerals is really good for your skin. So um for anyone if you do have oily skin or um prone to imperfections, you know, the references are not good. It's a it's a very skin caring brand. I do have very good skin. I have very dry skin, so um, I tend to use creams or liquids. Um, I mean, liquid foundation really suits all skin types. It's um, great, but um, you can also get in bare minerals powder foundation. For you, that would be okay. For me, for my dry skin, mm -hmm. it's terrible. It just accentuates all my flakies. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to apply a bit of product. Thank you. Just try to blend in the sponge here. And I'm just gonna dot around so we're not focusing it in one place. You can do a third part of the sponge on right to your skin. It's okay. Not too much. Just gonna I think we could have gone a bit darker for you, the shade honestly. Yeah. Um, I have the dark. Sometimes okay. I mix them all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll show you a way that we can easily make this color a little bit darker anyway. A bit warmer, because you do have a very warm skin tone. Yeah, so this, I feel, could be a little bit on the pink side for your skin. So we want to warm and bronze it up a bit, which we will do. I was a bit surprised when I gave you the number number two. Yeah. I've I've always had tan skin and I, I know I've been living in a cold climate for a while, but I didn't realise I was that pale. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would ever go with a vanilla for my skin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 In the early two thousands we everyone would, would pick like three shades darker for their skin. Yes. Okay, I don't do that. I was told I look like a mel melting carrot. I am a lovely young man. <laughs> and I used to have my full oranges here, the orange love, and then my white neck. <laughs> if you have a shade match, you really don't need to go down to the neck. You know, some yeah. people will blend it right out here. You don't need to be doing that. Uh, okay. Just take it a little bit under the chin, it's fine. Yeah. And even the ears, some people who are prone to their ear. Yeah, I put it on the ears. Yeah, I don't personally, but I mean if you're prone to getting blush, like rosacea on your ears. Yeah, I, have, I, get, then, I get hot ears. Yeah, yeah. So, so you might want to do that to sort of cover that up, but yeah. it's not necessary. It's just, mm. just depends for each person. This is blending very well. I mm. actually like the glow. It's, yeah, mm. I think it's quite nice. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's it's Strong. definitely dewy, and I would normally normally not go for that having oily skin, but I mean it works. I think yes. now that dewy is in, exactly. And anyway, we will use some powder over the oilier T zone area, just to set it a bit better so it lasts and do and doesn't go from dewy to shiny. <laughs> now, is the T zone a capital T or a lowercase T? Is it, is it like it's this, or is it this? I've never known. So it is a capital T, so oh, the T okay. zone when they say it, it refers to across here uh, and down here. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's good to know. So you really don't need much product at all, so I've only been putting tiny dots across. And then the sponge blends it so well. A makeup brush is a little bit trickier to use because you can end up with streaks. Mm. So, yeah, just kind of sponge is simpler for beginners. If you want to, yeah, if you just don't want to take too much time and do it in a nice quick mm. routine, a sponge is the way to go, I think. Okay. And you really don't need 
much on my eyelids um, <laughs> it's making me feel so pale so I always go across them but mm -hmm. actually you don't need anything really on your eyelids so I went across them but yeah. you don't need to do that area and then okay so that's the one bit I can really do is just check it over see if there's anywhere that you feel you want a bit more coverage but to me I think that looks good Sure. I don't have my glasses on, but I trust you, Jackie. Okay, yes. Well, as I said, you have beautiful skin. You really don't need too much. So I think that's perfect. Mm -hmm. You want your skin to be able to breathe and show through anyway. So I think that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Everything is airbrushed when you're not wearing your glasses. Yes, <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> okay, um, so next step. I will warm up your skin a bit. So this is what I was showing you. Oh, thank you. Showing you the same bottle I'm in about it being a little bit on the light side, but we can warm it up. So I have some bronze and chromes. Just normal bronzer is fine with that. Just a plain bronze and chromes, but I just use everything. I think you just put that down. That's okay. <laughs> nice and soft. This is almost like a reverse contour. So contour people will do typically under the cheekbone mm. to hollow that area. And that's more of a grey tone usually. So your bones are up. This is a nice warm colour. And you go on the top of the cheekbones instead. Okay. So I know Ed doesn't like how oh, pink. You don't want to pink too much on your face. We didn't want to do any blush today, so instead I just apply a touch more of the bronzer to this area. So that gives your face colour without the blush. I mean, you can do different coloured blushes. Nowadays, it's a lot more inclusive of different skin colours, so rather than just pink, you'll find orange blush, purple blush. Purple blush? Yes, purple, yeah. It's different suits on very deep yeah. skin tone. Yeah, and I'm just going to go a bit on your nose as well, just down the bridge here. Maybe I'm waiting to get that sun pretty naturally. Okay, oh, look at that view of the cheek, just come. And that's just, just going to that huge <laughs> <laughs> to glue that into the tip. Mm. Okay. Oh, 
sound goes away because of because of this one. This one. Set everything with set of candle. So this is just to take a little bit of the shine. So this hopefully won't need to dissolve here. Okay. It's just about the taste of all the nice glow, but I don't want it to become oily. Under the eyes, around the nose here. Okay. When um, with wearing glasses, mm. often the around the bridge of your nose, some of the makeup can be remote. Mm. So if you just put a touch more of this powder there, mm. it tends to avoid that from happening because it's it's sort of you fly in back. Sweat, but mm -hmm. I'll move the product, the makeup, from around there when you're wearing your glasses. Yeah. So you can just apply a big dot to that area. Mm. Good touch. Yeah. And if you have, you don't have it, but if you have the smaller ones here, if you do like a bright wing setting powder on them, that helps take them away. So, like a pink or a purple. Brightening powder that you can get. Um, yeah, that really helps to take away the appearance of any oil. I always feel like <clears throat> when I'm getting my makeup done, most of the other people, like, it just feels so random the movements in the face. And, yeah. And it, like, I don't know. It feels like they've missed spots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, feels, it feels like. You did this side, but you didn't do this side because yeah. you can feel it. But I guess they're going by an eye and what they can see. Yeah, I can probably agree. I have the same thought whenever someone's doing their makeup. I think, but you've missed this whole cheek or yeah. something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, um, your eyebrows are in good shape and color, so we don't need too much of that. Just kind of blend a little touch of this brow gel on. I like to just take off a lot of the product because we really don't need much color or anything there. It's just to shoot them out. Okay, so this is, this is so easy to use because it's just like a mascara wand. And it'll just keep the hairs in place. So you just brush them up a bit and to the side. Beautiful natural arch there. And it just helps keep the hairs in place so they're not, you know, sticking out at every angle. My eyebrows are sisters, yeah. not twins. <laughs> <laughs> and then I feel it. Good morning, my just cousin. <laughs> yeah, my yeah, I'm a third cousin is yeah. twice removed. <laughs> This one that moves out, like it starts over here. Yeah. Yeah. Just for some reason, the line that I like is just lower down. So I'm always mm. yeah, I've got the, the, yeah. the hairs right up. So. Let's get that out of the way. You don't do the salt brows when they're brushed right up. Oh, I, don't, I don't do that person. Mm -hmm. I'm not a clean girl. No, me neither. I don't want any old songs wander off. <laughs> Although I, my friend is a millennial and she does, she gets into the clean girl. Yeah. So, At least a 
Use a shape I'm doing quite a rounder shape, so that's mm -hmm. more of an everyday. But if you wanted it to be a bit more dramatic, you can do a sharper mm -hmm. um, shape so you can do more of that room look. Mm -hmm. And that I find, yeah, it's a bit more dramatic or a dramatic look. Have you been watching Heartbreak High? No, I haven't. Have you seen the first season? No, I haven't. Oh. Mm -hmm. The makeup on that is it's pretty extra. Oh, um, really? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, like 2016. It's like a. Uh, no, no, it's new. It's, it's a new season. It's yeah. Like, so I don't know what 2016 YouTube makeup okay. is. <laughs> I don't get the reference. That's it's really cool. funny. Like YouTube tutorials and like big eyes with lots of color. Lots of like big space glam. It was very popular. It's yeah. like it's like more um, like stick on things and like really like. Oh. So like. Yeah, just really, really extra, like, okay. um, cute, like, not, like, teenage pop fun. Okay, kind of yeah. like, um, if you haven't seen it, it's, like, Australian euphoria. 
the show. I was thinking of you from earlier, yeah. you were saying about that. Yeah. yeah. That it's just fun. Everyone, yeah, yeah. like everyone, it's like in my mind, because um, you know, we watched No Girls, yes. the musical, yeah. and we were both very sad about yeah. the way things looked. Yes. Yeah, Great the, movie, the but outfits, the costumes mm. were quite old. So, watch this as, watch um, Heartbreak High as like, um, it absolves, you know, cinema of its of all its sins because it, this is what mean girls should, should be, be in terms of fashion like looks and stuff because it, it's not it's obviously not like a regular high school but it still feels really high school but it's just it's just elevated yeah, yeah. yeah. oh it's fun I'll have to look into it yeah, yeah definitely okay that's so dramatic yeah <laughs> straight ahead and just really stop where that where that starts. So it's just the outer the outer way. Okay. Just feel that a bit more. You don't have another brush but usually a rounder, softer, fluffy brush would work better for blending. So for blending the outside of it. Just close. I'm just gonna 
right on the top there. So you don't need, if I need to be too precise, just there. If you wanted it a bit less, you could just apply it just in the center above your iris. But we're just going to go right across the lid and let the beautiful shimmering pop. We don't go too high up on the lid, so it's more just you see just a peek of it when your eyes are open, a peek of the shimmer, and then when you blink or have your mm. eyes closed, you can see it more. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> okay, so lastly, lastly, we're just gonna do some eyeliner and then mascara, and then I'll do it. So <laughs> So I've got this eyeliner, it's just an eyeliner pencil, so this is a brown, so this is, again, a bit more, a bit softer, black can sometimes be a bit harsh, and I think with your colouring, I think um, brown is a really good option for us, so I'm just going to go, if you look down for me, I'm going to go on the tips in your eye, a bit here. Okay. There. Oh. I didn't already. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. I mean, you can close your eyes if that's more comfortable. Is that fine as well? Yeah. So, when you're younger, you used black? Yeah, I used um, black eyeliner on, like, under the okay. wet, the wet bit at the bottom, like, under here. Yeah. It's like we were stabbing ourselves with a, a sharp black oh, pencil. Yeah. yeah. So I usually like to actually go not in the whole eye, but a bit underneath because mm. I feel it makes your eyes look a bit bigger. If you want to go right on the waterline, it can close your eyes and mm. become mm. a bit small. And yeah. I also don't want to go all the way in. Again, just like I did with the shadow, I'm just going to go just in that outer half or one third, just very softly, just smudge a little bit under there so it's I not too harsh. Yes, I think my heart is going to do what you do, Gracie. I can do it better. Um, actually, I have pots, little eyeliner pots. You can use a brush. I find that a bit easier to use than a pencil. Um, but I think if you just learn the pencil, but when you sit with this, I think you can help me learn.
want to do as well. Yes, I just separate the lunch course. If I clean the room, it needs to be separate and, and also remove some of the excess. Oh. So if you see, like many of this will be like together. together. Yeah. Well, you can keep this one. I can buy it home. Oh, okay. So it's just a, a rubber story and it separates them, but also, yeah, cleans off some of the excess of the lunch content. That's okay. Yeah. It's mostly drying mascara. Okay. This is a quick drying mascara. I can tell some mascaras are very wet. Mm -hmm. You've got to be careful for some time, but this one I think dries pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do a touch more. I like to just go in and just sort of point it on some lashes and keep it there. <laughs> and then I'll just say, yeah. what would be the spell for that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maximus lashes. <laughs> there you go. You see the upper side of it there. And now I'll do the bottom lashes. So I put an awful lot of excess to do the bottom. You don't want too much. Yes, I do. Just press this very lightly. I'm just going to stop you in this. Your bottom lashes are actually incredibly long. <laughs> so, yeah, you don't need much on there. Perfect. Then, okay, now I'll do the lashes. Your top ones are really long, but they're like double the length of the bottom one. Yeah, yeah, my bottom lashes are very long, but your bottom ones are almost the same length. They're very long. Alright, so we're done trying. And again, I'll just go along the tips here. My daughter has ridiculously long lashes. <laughs> yeah. She's, I mean, not even, they're like, uh, like her eyebrow, they go like halfway down her cheek and then up to her eyebrow. Like, they're so yeah. long. Yeah. Like, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> her dad has her daddy's dad. lashes. Yeah. And she has her dad's. have the best lashes, is that fair? Yeah, she has her dad's on her brow too, I can tell. <laughs> Alright, that's definitely coming back in at the right time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, that one. That one's looking a bit curly more, so that's like really. Oh, I think it's not doing really such a big impact. Yeah. Yeah, try not to look at it too much. It's like a clump up top. But yeah, that's definitely touching. Your eyebrows pretty much. I don't know, you're saying your daughter doesn't have them in, but no. I think she might. But hers is so dark, like, it, mm. you know, even when she's not wearing mascara. <laughs> she's I, do, I, do, I do not have mascara. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now just a little bit here. Usually I'll just get a cup tip and if you let the mascara dry then it just comes off really easily. If you try and wipe it off so it does not uh, so let it just dry and then it'll come off less easily. Uh, yeah. Good tip, good tip. Okay. Eyes are open and oh, I love the mascara. I find it just looks so beautiful. I never really see you wear mascaras, but yeah, it looks really good. Okay, now I'm gonna do my lips. Um, let me wipe down the primer. Yeah. That's, yeah. I don't even fuss with that. Um, what is this color? Okay, so now this is Clinique Black Honey. It's a cult favorite. It's all over the social media people love it. And I'll just show you. Okay. It's 
almost just like a bomb that was called a bell. Bell bell, almost. Yes, yeah. like, which I used to almost yeah. like a stick it's called. Yeah, mm-hmm. so um, it's, yeah, we do need um, tight lips, um, not so much dry lips. Yeah, if you have dry lips, this may accentuate some, but it's no problem for you. So, yeah. And this just brings out, you've got naturally quite pink lips anyway, and this just really brings out that natural pinkness. It's not, it doesn't even really look like lipstick. It just looks like you've got this beautiful sheen to your lips. Yeah. I don't know how you need to hold your lips when you're getting them like. <laughs> Find the side being a bit far. Can you open a bit wider? Oh, oh yeah. Maybe. So, and I love that you have the beautiful cupid soul. So many girls now, they overline their lips to remove the cupid soul. Oh. And I, I will never love the cupid soul. Mm. So, okay, there we go. So, let's see what you think. If you want a bit more color, we can use this one here because this needs a little bit more color. I do that, you know me. I don't know. Yeah, see what you think. Good to go. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs>